I'm Alana, and welcome to Button Bash. Various GameStops in Philadelphia have started scanning people's fingerprints when they go into the store to trade in used games. GameStop trade-ins run under the same set of laws as pawn shops, and because there are so many people who trade in stolen goods for cash, which can also happen with games and consoles, of course, the company already has to get a record of customer's identification, home address, and phone number just to make a trade. GameStop Philadelphia told Kotaku that this is intended to be a new anti-crime measure so that local authorities can track down people who are trading in games that have been obtained uh, questionably. Apparently this was actually a request from the Philadelphia police who asked that GameStop bring in harsher security measures. Now, trades can only be completed with a fingerprint scan and the fingerprints are automatically uploaded to the online database Leads Online, which is a website that law enforcement used to recover stolen property, help stop meth makers, reduce metal theft and solve crimes. This has been happening in Philadelphia for about a month now, but could be heading to other locations too. A GameStop representative said, it's a practice we've also put into place in other parts of the US depending on local or statewide second-hand dealer or pawnbroker laws. And while people are going to jump on this and get angry at GameStop, I'm honestly betting they're not too happy about it either, being that it could scare people away from trading in games, which is where they make most of their money.